Hi, this is Max Katz, and this is another lesson in our online training course. So in this lesson, we're going to cover server code, and this is going to be an introduction to server code. To access the server code is done via the main navigation uh, menu or tabs here, and clicking server code, you will see a page that looks like this. You probably um, don't have any script, so you're not going to have um, anything here, uh, but um, I already have a couple of scripts. Uh, but the idea behind server code script is that it allows you to write custom app logic uh, or business logic uh, using JavaScript. Uh, and of course, um, it will execute on the server, right, in, in the operator your cloud. And of course, the key is that you don't have to maintain the server, uh, deploy anything. Again, everything is sort of automatically done for you in the operator your cloud. But the real value is that you can customize the app, you can really add any custom logic you would like um, via server code. In some examples, of course, you can write um, custom uh, logic on the client using JavaScript, but there are some instances where you want to execute some logic on the server. For example, if you're doing a calculation that um, may be not appropriate for the client, um, or you know, another option is you might want to invoke another service, uh, REST API from the server code. Um, so it's another example, um, or if you want to, you know, search the database and maybe it takes a little bit longer, right? And so it's more appropriate for the server code. It just kind of utilizes more resources than to do it uh, on the client, for example. And of course, another benefit is um, you can schedule scripts to run, and that's where the jobs uh, tab is. So you can schedule scripts to run every Monday, for example, right? Um, so there are a lot of um, features uh, in server code, but let's do a quick overview. Um, so right here, these are scripts that uh, I already created, and to create a new script, you just click create new script. Now there are some default libraries that you should also have, like underscore, um, and there is a, a moment for a GS for time, for example. Um, you can also add um, custom libraries. Um, by just clicking create new library and you can say this we can just call this my custom library and then you can write some code here and then just click save and then if we go back so the library now appears here so the library can have basically some common code that you might want to use in various scripts I mean sort of that's the basic uh, that's the basic idea and um, for example, moment.js, right, that's a third-party library. It's already a system library, but I also imported it again uh, just to show you. And basically, you can just copy and paste the entire library. And uh, it's, it's available, all right? Let's go to... Um, so, of course, most of the time, you're going to be spending time in writing the actual script. And um, let's look at this simple script that I just created. Right, so when you open this, you get sort of two sections. This section where you write the actual code, and this section is where you can test the script. Of course, you want to test the script before using it in the app. Now, if you need more room, if you're in development mode, you can also hide the test window. Right? Uh, or, on the other hand, if you're testing, you can also just show the, just the test section. Right? Um, so this is the script name. Um, and so this is my uh, this is my script. Um, so this script is simple, and we're going to go into more detail a little bit later. But for now, um, the script takes uh, a parameter which is dev name, and then it creates a greeting, hello dev name, and then I'm using uh, using one of the uh, including libraries moment uh, to get the time right now, and then finally um, I am returning a response so in, in JSON format. It's very simple. It has the result and the time. Now, before using it in the app, you want to test the app. Um, sorry, test the script. And we can click Run, but let's look at the parameters first. So if script requires parameters, you can define parameters here. So param1, for example. You can add one more if you would like. But for now, it's dev name, and I specified the name uh, Sarah. And then we can go here and click All right, and you can see 
this is the result hello Sarah and then the time basically when the script was executed this trace section if you have any if you print any information to the console so for example let's say you want to do the time as well and when you click save and run you can see that uh, so this is useful for debugging and of course this is the response that will be sent back uh, to the app um, so this is um, for the script now one more thing here there is also um, of course how do you invoke the script right so um, it's automatically exposed via a REST API uh, and this is the API that's right here now when we cover more server code you'll see that you can automatically generate the service uh, from the uh, from the app builder right so you don't have to create it by hand but this is the URL that you can uh, use now, it also has a description here so you actually you can specify sort of a documentation for the script and say you know the script um, the script says hello to a developer and so if you let's say your app wants to learn what it does you can use this uh, URL and basically this content will be returned so it's kind of a documentation uh, for the service which could be pretty handy let's save here uh, so this is the script um, tab now the trace this is um, um, this is the information uh, from the console log and also some errors so if you make an if you there's a an error in the script like uh, I have some errors from before you will see the errors here as well so if you're testing uh, you can always go here and see the errors statistics this shows you how many times the script was executed um, when it was created updated and so on um, settings so you can um, um, you can tie this script to to a database and um, this will tie into the user collection uh, so basically what this means is that you need to have a logged in user to invoke the script a logged in user means you need to have a session uh, a live session for the script to be invoked so this is an extra security you can add to the script so again uh, a user must be logged in into your app to invoke the script as for dependencies this is where you specify on which libraries this script is dependent so I selected the moment JS you can also for example maybe do underscore right uh, as for permission so this is a common tab on various resources this is where you can add other people to work on the script with you and then you can give them different permissions and lastly there's the jobs so this is what allows you to schedule scripts to run at a particular time right so this is where you schedule the script and this section here will show you uh, the history all, all the schedule scripts so for example if we take our script and you can use the visual builder um, but you can also use um, you can actually write the expression yourself that's for more advanced cases uh, but for example we say we would like to run the script every Monday uh, we can we don't care about the minutes um, every Monday at uh, let's do 8 o'clock and you can also set a time zone and we can click Save and so basically you can see now that this this was added to the schedule and it's basically waiting uh, once the script will um, will be invoked this will change all right and you can also uh, turn off the schedule right keeping the script and then turn it on or you can of course completely delete uh, delete this um, this script uh, this schedule all right so let's go back quickly uh, the last thing I want to show you which we didn't do at the beginning is how do you create a new script and again it's extremely simple you just click create script and this is where you get now this is some sample code um, that gets inserted automatically right for you to be able to quickly run uh, run the script and for example uh, we can enter a parameter uh, we can do name and we can say Joe and then we can run oh, we forgot the name so let's say hello dev2 all right and basically it just kind of a uh, it displays all the parameters that I entered so whatever you enter on the input 
we're going to get back uh, in the in the reply in the in the JSON. All right. So this for this was uh, an introduction to server code script. Um, in in another lesson, we're going to go into more detail how to write more complicated scripts and of course how to invoke the script uh, from the app. Thanks for watching.